They say the average lifespan of a pen tester is 5 years, which is roughly 1826.25 days. I'm just over 300 days in and I came in with a head full of curiosity and a dream to pop shells. That has not been the reality though, and as much as popping shells sounds fun, my first year as a pen tester hasn't looked like the Hollywood style montages unfortunately. It's been a roller coaster of lessons, challenges and moments that make me question everything I thought I knew. Here's what the under plus days on the job has taught me so far. First thing I want to touch on is efficiency. Time is the most valuable resource in pen testing and in general. One thing I learned fairly quickly that I needed to do that sentence construction was terrible. One thing that I learned fairly quickly um, was that I needed to log every command and its output. Setting up a system in my terminal to keep a record of everything that I did was a game changer. Whether I was debugging an exploit, retracing my steps, or writing my report, having that log saved me hours of frustration. You can do this yourself manually by piping your commands to T, which is a utility that reads from standard input and writes to both standard output and one or more files simultaneously, or you can use other utilities like scripts that aim to do most of the heavy lifting for you. It's not just about working faster, it's about working smarter. Be efficient in whatever way you can. And speaking of smart workflows, let's talk about reporting a little bit. This was actually something I learned in my previous job as a security engineer. Shout out to my boss, Kritika. But I still think it's pretty relevant. Early on, um, I thought reporting was something you did after the engagement, after you're done with all your hacking and all that stuff. But waiting until the end is clearly a rookie mistake, as I learned. Uh... Starting your report as soon as you begin testing allows you to document findings in real time, reducing stress and improving your accuracy. By the end of your tests, you already have a detailed record of your work, freeing you up to focus on more creative styles of exploitation for things that might require a bit more digging during those final hours. But even with great notes, a report is only as good as its polish. Proofreading is a must. A sloppy report can delay the QA process and hurt your credibility as a hacker. Treat every report like a resume. It should be clear, concise, and professional. Remember, your findings might be groundbreaking, but they're only impactful if they are communicated effectively. I personally still have a lot of room for improvement in this area, reporting, because um, by the time I'm done with the report, I'm usually mentally spent. So sometimes I don't even want to read my own reports. What I do nowadays is finish the report, take a break, lunch, or even hit the gym then come back and proofread before I hit that submit button. Moving on, let's dive into vulnerabilities. People do not always fix the issues you report, especially if they are not classified as high or critical severity. That outdated software you flagged last year is probably still there. I'm still here. The inadequate CSP or missing security flags on cookies, probably still a thing. This taught me that being a pen tester isn't just about finding flaws, hacking 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 right it's it's about advocacy for the most part you're most likely working as a consultant if you're a pen tester and this means helping stakeholders understand why these issues matter and how they can escalate into bigger problems you have to be able to show the developers that while not having the secure or http only flags on cookies right now isn't the worst issue because they aren't using cookies for authentication or authorization maybe with future updates this might become a problem if they decide to start using cookies for authorization or authentication because now they also haven't fixed that trivial xss that you found so you have xss you have cookies that aren't using secure flag and you have cookies that don't have http only which means they can be accessed by javascript a whole problem think about that another thing is um you'll find these same types of vulnerabilities over and over and over unless you invest in your own growth early on i kept on stumbling across the same type of vulnerabilities most of them being low or medium it wasn't until i pushed myself to start learning more advanced techniques that have started finding new vulnerabilities and vulns that stood out in this field you're finding somewhat mirror your skills which might be unfortunate or fortunate who knows but if you stop learning you stop growing stay tuned for a video i'll be making to show how i'm currently leveling up my hacking skills without taking any certifications i think it's gonna be a fun video but that is it honestly short and sweet let me know what you've learned over the years about hacking whether you are a full-time pen tester or not if you'd like to be a part of our growing cybersecurity community with more than 5,000 members, professionals, and students alike, join our Discord Cyberwalks. Link will be in the description below. Peace.